from Silicon Valley, California. This is Fresh Dialogues. In this week's Fresh Dialogues, we visit one of the Green Laureates of the 2009 Tech Awards in Silicon Valley. I caught up with Rolf Papstorf, founder of the Alternative Energy Development Corporation in South Africa. His company manufactures zinc air fuel cells that generate energy 24-7. These fuel cells are manually rechargeable and Rolf claims the rural village has a zero carbon footprint because they use solar energy to recycle the fuel cells. Well, we basically supply them now with basic electricity. We have skills development programs so that they can go and earn a disposable income. Their income in the moment, we reduced the unemployment rate in our village from 85 to 65%, and only 3% of the income goes towards energy. The rest is disposable income. So if you look at your household bill and what you earn and what you have to pay for your electricity, your electricity bill possibly will be higher than 3%, Absolutely. except if you're very rich. Yeah. So, in any case, so our passion really is empowerment, and uh, especially education, children. And tell me about the alternative energy part of what you're doing. What we kind, uh, manufacture kind of... zinc air fuel cells. We are the only company in the world which produces a low-cost zinc air fuel cell, manually rechargeable. And you make that in, this, in this town in South Africa? We manufacture it in Randburg, and um, we are proud to say that we have no carbon footprint, and we are totally renewable. And how, how do you manage that? How do you have no carbon footprint? Because we recycle the zinc oxide back to new zinc, using solar energy. Ah, excellent, excellent. And what are, what are you going to do with this money? We are building a little um, similar to our workshop. We're going to put a big building next to that one and we're going to make a children's, preschool children's trash and that will be equipped with a toy library, with uh, little computers that they can start learning. We have internet access there so that we can actually start teaching them already and English because 85% of the community does not speak English and we need to do that. So we have some money to pay a teacher to be there and because we are there now already for over a year, every month up there, you need to create a relationship with the community. You cannot just go in and walk out and we feel it's always long-term projects which eventually become successful. And tell me about your inspiration for doing this, Rolf. I was born a social entrepreneur. Tell me about that. Well, you know, I was born in East Germany and uh, my parents resettled to West Berlin in 51 and we were very, very poor. One last question for you. What about Al Gore? Has he, has he influenced you? Tell me it. about his influence on your life. Um, I read his book as, and um, he's, he's totally right. I love his passion. You have to be passionate for that. And uh, I hope, and you know what, he owns a zinc mine I in did Australia. not know that, really. Yes. And he's got $100 million to invest in alternate energy. You should come around by us, we use a zinc. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going you're to be a client of his? <laughs> Possibly. And Australia also has many places with no electricity. We look at the Aboriginal people. And the beauty of the system, it's portable. Thank you for listening to Fresh Dialogues. This is Alison Van Diggelen. For more lively interviews with many more leaders, go to freshdialogues.com. With special thanks to Carol Pecora for technical support and Kevin McLeod, who wrote and produced our music. Music